Yo, bro, uh, Yo. you're gonna check out the new Microsoft laptop? Yeah. Dude. No, man, it's a new one. Microsoft laptop? No, seriously, it's a new one. Uh, the Microsoft okay. laptop? Is there one out already? It comes with Windows. Oh, the new. S? Isn't there. Like, you haven't. A new one? Bro, no, it's not the Surface. Oh, shit. It's the Microsoft laptop. Like the Surface? Microsoft Surface laptop, bro. Yeah, all of them come with Windows. <clears throat> what? You don't know it. <laughs> you, you need to check it out, bro. The Microsoft Surface. It's a different laptop. Bro. It's the same thing, bro. Like you need to chill. It's for like. Come on, freaking. Bro. They it's, said it's for like high school students. It's the same students, thing. But to it's me, just the different shit color. has to be for college students or professionals because that shit costs like a thousand dollars and chill, it's fam. freaking expensive and the build quality is top notch, bro. You should definitely check it out. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's check it out, bro. All right, let's do it. Let's check it out, man. What's up, guys? So, if you haven't heard of the new Microsoft Surface laptop, it has just been released, and out of nowhere, it just like out of nowhere slams and hit everyone so this one is basically aimed at the macbook maybe the macbook air the macbook pro it's not called the microsoft surface pro laptop it's just called the microsoft surface laptop and it's well designed built quality is top notch there's awesome videos out there microsoft showing how this laptop was made it comes with windows 10 s i think windows 10 s means small i'm not sure but you have to pay $49 to get like the official or the the standard Windows operating system. So I'm not sure if that's a big deal for everyone. Now this laptop is also one of the thinnest out there with a touchscreen display inside, which is also very, very interesting. Now for price, we're expecting this laptop to run for about $999 US dollars, which is roughly a thousand dollars and a little scrums including tax and all of that so for the first time microsoft has went for a traditional take when designing their laptops normally it's a tablet a two-in-one laptop but this is the first laptop that has a built-in keyboard it doesn't have like a, a um pad where you'd have to get a magnetic thing and you slap it onto it this one is actually a built-in keyboard that is well designed and engineered and it fits perfectly with the laptop it still has that smooth fabric inside of the grooves of the keyboard but it is not on top of the keyboard it also has backlit all that good stuff it has everything that a laptop in 2017 slash 18 is supposed to have at this very moment and it has a headphone jack and it has USB ports yes it does no, this laptop only weighs 2.76 pounds, okay? It's a 13.5 inch laptop and it weighs 2.76 pounds. I think that is like super light. It's good for students on college college campus. It's good for professionals that work a lot, travel a lot. It's the best laptop. It also comes with Core i5, Core i7, 4 gig up to 8 gigs of RAM. And also a 128 gig of SSD, which is always not enough. So you just need to get an external hard drive like everyone else does when it comes on to like storage below 200 gigs. So let's go ahead and look for some specs right here. So the display is 13.5 inches, as I said before, 3.2 aspect ratio. It comes with a Surface Pen enabled Gorilla Glass 3 touchscreen. Processor is a 7th generation Intel iCore 5 or i7 it comes with 4 gigs of ram 8 gigs of ram or 16 gigs of ram which is the beast the graphics is an intel hd 602 i5 windows hello which is absolutely amazing and also for the software it comes with windows 10 s free you could switch to windows 10 pro through december 31st in 2017 it also has an ambient light sensor storage wise 128 gigs 256 gigs or 512 gigs ssd so what you get inside the box is the surface laptop power supply quick start guide 
safety and warranty documents. So the weight, as I said before, is 2.76 pounds and the dimensions is 12.3 by 8.79 by 0 0.57. What's that? I don't know. But all in all, this is the new laptop that's coming out, targeted for maybe high school students, I'm not sure. But it's definitely not targeted for maybe professionals because it doesn't have like a um external GPU and all of that. But the surface lineups are always good when it comes on to processing speed and all of that. So hopefully this can run things like Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm not sure as it it could definitely run Photoshop and all those other programs. But let's see what this laptop has to bring for us. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and always guys smash the like button and peace. Ooh.